Hey everyone, my name is Lynn and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, I recently went to the 99 cent store a few days ago, and while I was browsing around the Halloween section, I saw this. For the longest, I've been wanting to try this out. So when I saw it, I was like, I gotta do this. And since now I have a YouTube channel, what a perfect time to do it. For something that's so affordable, I really do hope it works because you got no other options and you can only afford this. That would be perfect. Let's get to opening this thing and see how it goes. So for some parts of this video, I'm going to be doing a voiceover. So let's get straight into it. Right here, I'm showing the details on the box. The description said that it's a single stitch for on the spot touch-ups, easy and light, ideal for travel. Uses four AA batteries for a, or adapter, not included and one extra needle and one extra bobbins are included. So the instructions were pretty clear. On top of the sewing machine, there's a switch to lock and unlock the sewing machine. You can easily sew your finger up if it's unlocked because it's very delicate, the switch. On the side of the machine, there's a wheel to, to turn the needle up. It also came with a loop threader, which you're supposed to use to help you tie a knot at the end of your seams because this sewing machine doesn't backstitch. So what we're gonna make with it, what we're gonna try to make with it is a scrunchie. And not just a regular scrunchie, it's gonna be an oversized scrunchie. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna be using the, the strawberry fabric. I just wanna see how it'll go. And then also, let's test out sequences Might as well. I'm gonna cut the fabric right now, and then I'll see you on the other side of the table. So I've tested out the sewing machine and it works pretty good. The only complicating part that I had was the very end when you have to like do a back stitch, but instead of on here, you don't do a back stitch, you do a, um, you take out a few inches of the thread, clip it off, and then you're supposed to create a loop on the back. But so far with everything else, you gotta make sure that you lock it because it's so, like look at that, it's very, it can easily unlock, but you can accidentally sew your finger up. So just be careful with that part. Make sure you lock it in is lock and out is unlock. Putting the thread through the needle, you gotta make sure you're putting it through the back. I don't know if you can see it. And then you're taking it out this direction, which is on my side, my left side. Oh, I'm sewing it the wrong way. <laughs> oh my gosh. My right is where you place the fabric on this side and your left is where you're gonna be sewing it to. Okay. Ugh, scared. <laughs> okay. There's the back. It's not bad. I could feel that the fabric is like kind of struggling through the sequence because I did sew over the strawberry. I think right here it's going to get more challenging because it was at the very edge of the strawberry. But I can see that I'm going higher because I can't really see which way to go. The fabric is sliding though, I can see that. So let me try fixing that issue. Cause I do not want uneven lines. I know I'm getting a bit more than a quarter inch. I can see it already. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. It did fine on this strawberry, but as soon as it got to this little one right here, it got kind of stuck. So let's hope it doesn't break or anything. Okay, let's try working through this again. It could be that I'm not putting it through, like I'm not pulling it. Oh my gosh, it's right at the edge of the fabric. It looks like it's gonna be a bit crooked. The seams again. Oh, I got stuck again. Go with something simple. I was actually gonna do organza, but I'm 
know, my mind is like, let's make this complicating. I'm trying to get this for you guys. Let's not even unlock. Oh no. We're just gonna have to sew through. <laughs> want to raise up the needle and then you're gonna lift it up and you're gonna let it go down at least three inches or so so on the instructions it tells you a step-by-step -step on how to end your seams remember you are unable to backstitch on this little device the way to end a seam is to uh, take it out three inches snip the thread and uh, tie a knot at the very end but the way that the booklet tells you to do it is to get the thread looper and you're supposed to take out some seams and tie a knot with that thread looper but I didn't do it that way because I was really confused <laughs> and I was trying to do it so many times and it kept I kept failing at it so instead I just got a needle and tied a knot that way and it came out perfectly fine as long as you have knot at the ends your seams won't unravel that's just the main objective when sewing with this machine I finished the scrunchie. I made it all the way to the very end, but I wasn't recording. I closed up the scrunchie and you can see it didn't go so well. I haven't made a scrunchie in, in almost a year, so I completely forgot how to make a scrunchie. But I did it the way I don't like it, which is sewing it like closed like this when I, I'd rather do it on the edge because it looks more cleaner that way. This way you're just gonna have like a flat tortilla. <laughs> It's faster, but to unlock it, there is no back stitch on here, so you just have to tie it up at the very end. So make sure you lock it, lift it up, make it go past a couple inches, so that way you can tie it. Guys, I'm sweating from this. This is kind of stressful. Okay, so um, it didn't do good on the back. I don't know what happened here. It could be because it got stuck and then it kind of just messed up everything. Can you see that? Yeah. That's the price you pay for working with the most difficult fabric. But now you just gotta tie it up at the... Oh no, it's gets untying. <gasps> no! I'm bothered by that, but let's put it on my head. This pretty done. I already have a scrunchie on, so... <gasps> Cute! I mean, I'll actually wear it, but... It's not bad. For the price. Four ninety nine at ninety nine cents store. Not bad. Make sure make sure it's locked. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can definitely start off with this. You can use your hands too. Don't forget, you can just do that. The little hand stitching. But if you want something a little bit more faster, it's not that bad. Just be careful with it. I would definitely say it's worth it for the price and for what it does. Definitely test out fabrics beforehand. But that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because that will mean the world to me. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.